April Holmes is not only a Paralympian sprinter. She's the world's fastest female amputee with world records in the 100, 200, and 400 meter races. Last week, she stopped at the Waltham Boys and Girls Club to share her story with hundreds of insatiable kids and to encourage them to follow their dreams. Because again, if you don't believe in yourself, whatever it is, you can believe that you're the greatest shoe tire. You can believe that you're the greatest singer. You can believe that you're the greatest mathematician. Whatever it is, don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Holmes started her visit with a quick tour of the club, which included some bumper pool. I don't like this game no more. <laughs> Always quick with a smile or a joke, Holmes held the kids in rapt attention while talking about the leg she uses for walking. She also passed around her 100-meter gold medal from the 2008 Beijing Paralympics. I went to go get on a train, and before I knew it, I was underneath of it, and the train was on my leg. A track star at Norfolk State College in Virginia, Holmes had entered the working world when she was involved in a rush hour train accident in Philadelphia in 2001. During emergency surgery, her leg was amputated below the knee. Undaunted, the New Jersey native made a quick return to the track with a prosthesis called a cheetah flex foot. However much weight I put down and the force I put down, it, you know, it comes back up or whatever. So once I hit the track, every time I touch the track and hit the track, it comes back. I'm the only person in the world that has a pair of Jordan spikes. Nike's Jordan brand doesn't ordinarily handle sprinters, but it made an exception for Holmes, making her the first woman to earn a sponsorship from Michael Jordan. I've been around him a number of times. You know, Jordan Brand has been very instrumental in um, both my athletic career and also with the, um, the April Holmes Foundation in terms of us being able to give back to people with, dis with physical and learning disabilities. Very few in the audience knew exactly who competes in the Paralympics, so Holmes drilled them on it. And attention. Yeah. Amputees. Say amputees. Amputees. Say wheelchair. Wheelchair. Cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy. Visually impaired. Visually impaired. Or dwarfs. So what's the sprinter's most cherished moment as a Paralympian? While I have plenty of you know, gold medals and world records on the track, to me it's more important to do things off the track um, because there'll come a time where somebody will step on the track and be much greater than I was. So um, I try to go, do th different things off the track. I mean, the work here I'm doing with the Boys and Girls Club of America is, is monumental just to be able to walk into a gym and you know, kids are inspired to do things because they saw that I was able to do them. Um, and just to be able to give back to my community and, and touch people's lives every day, I think that's more important than any athletic achievement I could possibly gain. Toward the end, one lucky kid got to race April Holmes across the humid gym. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.